For the foundation sessions, it is customary to invite the immediate past president of SLMA as the chief guest. Today we have Dr. Anla Vijay Sundara, consultant physician and the immediate past president of Sri Lanka Medical Association as our chief guest. This time, this moment is a crucial time period for our motherland. Everything including education, industry, transport has come to a standstill. The whole country is looking forward to the guidance and advice of the medical profession. In this slide, I would like to invite Dr. Anla Vijay Sundara, our chief guest this moment, Madam, for your address as a chief guest. Uh, Professor Indika Karunathilaka, President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, uh, Professor Narada Varnasurya, the Dr. E.M. Vijay Ram Orator for the year 2020, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Tisera, Secretary of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, past presidents, members of the Council, members of the SLMA. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate the president of the SLMA, Professor Indika Karunathilaka, for the wonderful work he has done the whole year to improve the visibility of the Sri Lanka Medical Association and all the advice that has been offered to, to the government and to the Ministry of Health in controlling the epidemic of COVID infection in Sri Lanka. And first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate you also for conducting the annual sessions of the Sri Lanka Medical Association in a, in a um, both virtual as well as with participation, and now in view of the second uh, epidemic of COVID, for conducting the, the foundation session purely on, uh, on the virtual media. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to speak about a fact that is very close to my heart and close to the hearts of all uh, civic-minded people in Sri Lanka, and to, especially to people who have suffered so much in despair and sorrow as a result of our family members being subject to this. And this is the menace of ragging in universities in Sri Lanka. But this is a problem that has not met with, uh, uh, with the attention of most politicians and unfortunately some academics in universities. Yes, you will agree with me when I say that we should definitely stop ragging in Sri Lanka, the universities. Yes, moving on from there, ragging universities is an urgent national question which needs to be addressed. Yes. I will just uh, briefly mention the saga of Pasindu Hirushan, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Pasindu was an all-round student, very bright student, and also a good sportsman. He obtained three A's in the advanced level, and during his school days, he won many, many awards, as you can see. And yes, and moving, and in happier times, this was when his sister graduated as a lawyer, and unfortunately, this happened. Uh, during, the, uh, during the period of the ragging, he was hit by a, by a tire. And this was the saga that led the friendly uh, rag proved to be deadly. And this was the big tire that hit Pasindu uh, during, this, uh, during the period of rag. And thereafter, he was three months in hospital. He had numerous brain surgeries. And he was under the care of the, the doctors and the nurses. He made, a, he made a very good recovery. But unfortunately, after three months ordeal in hospital, when he came home, he was dysarthric, he was ataxic, and his writing was illegible. But we hope and pray that he will recover and he will continue his university studies in the years ahead. Certainly, this was not the first time, nor the last. Pasindu was not the first and the last. And these are a line of people who have been subjected to ragging and who have lost their lives. Carrying on from there, ladies and gentlemen, what is ragging? Ragging is a deliberate act which causes physical, psychological, and sexual stress or trauma, and it results in humiliation, harassment, and intimidation, and also leads to psychiatric disorders such as depression, anxiety, and stress. Ladies and gentlemen, ragging in all forms is prohibited by an educational act of parliament, the Act Number 20 of 1998. Moving on from there, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you will see this type of thing should never happen in our universities. This is a torture chamber. Moving on, you will realize why we say no to ragging. And ladies and gentlemen, if university students are found caught ragging and found guilty, as you know, they can be jailed according to this act of parliament. Right, then let us see the consequences of ragging. More than 2,000 students selected for universities have actually given up 
uh, their education as a result of ragging, and 18 students have already committed suicide. Some students, unfortunately, have been totally or partly paralyzed in attempts to escape from ag aggressors, and hundreds suffer from depression, anxiety, and stress syndromes. And unfortunately, the current uh, victims this year become the aggressors the next year. The, 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 I will just briefly give you the results of the survey on ragging and sexual and gender-based violence, which was carried out by Professor Umar Kumar Sami, and they found that ragging included physical, verbal, and sexual violence, and this accounted about 12 to 13 percent. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will agree with me when I say that ragging in the universities must stop. Right. However, I must mention the silver line in this tragedy of ragging, and this was the action taken by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Pruhuna, Professor Sujeeva uh, Amarasena. He arrested 17 students, including student leaders, and subsequently they were jailed, and now they have been expelled from the universities. And it was confirmed to be done, to be have, uh, uh, the ragging was supposed to be done by the Peritogami organization, which was responsible for strikes in the universities. However, despite expelling of the students, Runa func University functions normally, and this depunks a myth that action against ragging would lead to strike by the universities. So what, ladies and gentlemen, is the role of the SLMA in prevention of violence in universities? In the year 2019, we established an expert committee for the prevention of violence in universities and corporal punishment in schools. And Dr. Tara Dimel, the former uh, Secretary of Education, was a, uh, was a chairperson and the committee comprised of 10 highly motivated uh, members of the SLM who served in this committee. And this was one of the meetings of this expert committee of prevention of violence in universities. In the terms of reference, there were seven factors, but I will briefly mention only four. That is to identify accurately the nature of violence and, uh, in universities, to assess the toll just taken on the entire higher education system in this country, also to identify measures which authorities have already taken to stem the situation, and identify reasons why universities have failed to eradicate the problem completely. Continuing on from there, we, during the, uh, about uh, September 2019, we sent letters to all the prospect presidential candidates, telling them to publicly condemn all forms of uh, violence in universities and to show that they were genuinely pledged to eliminate ragging and that they would invite also all vice chancellors and deans to discuss atrocities in universities and to develop a scheme of reward for academics who actively denounce violence. And this is the copy of the letters we sent to all presidential candidates. But unfortunately, the two main candidates did not even uh, acknowledge the fact that they received these letters. Following from there, but it's important, I'm very happy to say that this letter and the, and the role of the SLMA received the, uh, fr uh, the headlines in the Sunday Island on page one, headlines, and it went out, SLMA urges, go back to the earlier one, SLMA urges presidential aspirants to give top priority to ending brutal bragging when they become elected as presidents. And subsequently, they have a response to the SMA letter by senior academics who said that it was an urgent national question which needed to be answered. And subsequently, it's another letter, uh, the opinion of the SLMA expert committee, where we submitted recommendations to end bragging in universities in Sri Lanka. And the next Sunday, on the, that is the 3rd of November, the entire uh, editorial of the, of the Sunday Island was devoted to ending bragging in universities. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me when I say the status of any university is as follows. All universities should be free of violence, intimidation, and harassment. And universities should be centers of learning for creativity, innovation, and for dissemination of knowledge. And each and one of us has a responsibility here to maintain that universities are safe and comfortable for all those who work and study in them. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we have gone through a 40-year saga of ragging. At present, there does not appear to be much light at the end of the tunnel. There have been changes in the government, presidents, prime ministers, ministers of education, and chancellors. Our constitution of the Sri Lanka has changed more than 20 times and is about to change again for the 21st time. We, Sri Lankans, have defeated the world's most terrorist organization, ending a 26-year-old war. But ragging in universities appears to be more difficult than dealing with terrorists. But if we can defeat terrorists, why can't we overcome ragging? And it's up to the relevant authorities and the academics to put an end to ragging in Sri Lanka. And my suggestion to end ragging is make it compulsory for all university students to sign a declaration that they will not engage in ragging, and if found guilty, that they will be expelled. 
this document should be in all three uh, languages. So ladies and gentlemen, and I hope if it is done, we can see light at the end of the tunnel and bragging will hopefully stop in the universities and the learning institutes of Sri Lanka. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Madam, for that thought-provoking lecture on an all-important topic and for your commitment towards eradicating ragging from educational institutes in Sri Lanka.